have to place all those um, pyrotechnic charges, you know, weeks in advance. So, it, yeah, so you have to know exactly what's going on the whole time. Congratulations, Ben. Welcome back to Toronto. Great to have you here. Uh, this was fabulous. I had so much fun watching this movie, and I just wanted to know what kind of a challenge it was for you to even just choreograph and get this going, you know, so that nobody was hurt, nothing was, you know, just, it had to have been choreographed. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very meticulously planned, it had yeah. to be. I mean, and, and, and just on a level of when you say, you know, someone fires there and a bullet hits the wall and a bit of dust comes out, you have to place all those um, pyrotechnic charges, you know, weeks in advance. Yeah. So, it, yeah, so you have to know exactly what's going on the whole time, which is absolutely terrifying, you know, because it, you know, you get, you could, you know, the, the worry was always we get to a position like eight, week five of the shoot. Yeah. And suddenly this bit of action wasn't going to work because he was, someone was there, someone was there and they could see them or whatever. So, so we basically, we built lots of models, um, built lots of charts, really dull looking kind of ordnance charts with yeah. people moving, you know, where they, they, they move around. And then in the actual space, which is a real um, warehouse, we built a kind of version of the set early on with cardboard boxes and then it acted it out just step step by step, minute mm. by minute, just to see where everybody was. Oh, I can just imagine. As I'm watching this, I'm like, I couldn't even keep count of how many rounds you guys used. Did anybody keep count of all the ammunition? Well, well yeah, I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. There, uh, across the production, there was 6,000 rounds fired, but the we most of the actors counted their shots so wow. that they were supposed to be that obviously they've these are pessimists so they've carried quite a lot of <laughs> bullets in their pockets but most of them should have had about three reloads yeah. um, except for Sam Riley's character who has a, a 1911 um, pistol which only takes eight rounds so he fired millions of bullets so he would have to have basically had a rucksack <laughs> full of <laughs> like magazines so that we just I just don't think don't talk about that it's yeah, like yeah. when people ask that you go well where was the music coming from right you know yeah. out, out of the sky exactly you right know, yeah so. uh, fabulous cast I mean seriously I don't think you guys had any fun making this movie no it was a drag a horrible nightmare <laughs> Yeah, I mean it was great, and and there are everybody's there every day as well. So yeah, exactly. So it was, um, which is a weird one because I thought you know you, th you know you, s you shoot something single location, you think it's going to be easier, <laughs> but then you get these weird insurance problems. Like if someone twists their ankle, then no one can <laughs> you can't film, you know. So yeah. um, which was interesting, but yeah, it was great to have. It was, yeah, it was weird, like a weird play, because they were so far apart, yeah. but they were all in this big room together. Yeah. Exactly. So how did Oscar winner Brie Larson hold her, hold up against all this testosterone in the room? Well, she wasn't Oscar winner at that point. You know, I know that. It was I very know. early on. I didn't, <laughs> no one had even seen Room at that point, you know, so it was like, I don't know, I was talking to Film 4, who uh, was one of the financiers of Room, and they were like, going, we've seen early cuts, it's really good. We're like, okay, yeah. that's cool. Who knew? And then it just builds up and up and up until, you know, and we're going, wow, she's been nominated. What? But did you see her like in Short Term 12? Like what was it about her that you decided that you wanted yeah, to Yeah, I'd, I'd seen her in that, but more I just, I met her. Yeah. You know, I kind of just chat to her and, and uh, Amy Jump, um, who's the writer and editor on, on this film with me, we, we tend to look at casting not through roles. Mm -hmm. We look at um, interviews like this. How they you handle can't, it. You yeah. can't hide how gimpy and terrible you are in an interview like this. So you, uh, and with actors when they're on TV and being interviewed, as much as they try to hide, they can't. So you go, that's interesting. Yeah. Or, or talking to people person to person. And um, she was just so, you know, I did, she, you know, I knew that she could act, that was fine. But when I met her, she was so smart and yeah. sharp. And I was like, wow, she's definitely, that's it. She's she great. Is. She is. Well, you're great. Thank you for bringing this one. It's really great, great Thank stuff, you. a lot of fun. And uh, I'll look for you next year because, you know, you're going to have to pull something out of your well, behind. Well, I could just make a, one on my phone or something. Easy stuff. We'll take you. You know we'll take you. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. It's really great.